day. There's nothing wrong with her. It's a general checkup. She has to do this now and again. So the doctor to come back in, and then we'll go from there. See you in a bit. Keep playing. What? What? Is it like Roblox or something? Yeah. Do you like Roblox? You do. All right. Clean your arm here. Look at me. Look at mommy. <laughs> look at mommy. Look at mommy. Awesome. Look at keep me. Keep looking at mommy. Keep looking at mommy. Look at me. Hi, mommy. All good done. Job. All See, you did good. See? It wasn't that bad, right? She's like, it's an error too? Let me see. But you did so good. Not even cry. Not even shift. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Shouldn't hurt though, okay? <laughs> no, you're not a bitch. Just extra. <laughs> Perfect. I got you at 88 over 62. <laughs> not too bad, right? You made it. <laughs> Girl, huh? mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Big girl. <laughs> Alright, so just hang tight for me and Katie will be in shortly, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. What you told him up there, game? Game down there, so. And game up there, so. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk it truth. Who does this while waiting on a doctor? Talk it truth, people. <laughs> <laughs> Only Janelle. <laughs> so, guys, we're no, done. <laughs> wow. We're done with the doctor's appointment and we're off to the pharmacy. Gonna get some stuff for her just in case. Um, but it's nothing serious. She's all good. Vitals checked out and everything. I'm sure we need an injection too. <laughs> Any volunteer? <laughs> you might just get one. If the may ask a volunteer for your injection. Some days hot. Some days you wake up and the place is so hot because we're between fall and summer and another day it is cool, even cold. Today is one of the hot days. Just so walk from the doctor's office to the car and mess with. Oh Jesus. I see it up in here. Maybe I'm a menopause or age. I yes, said maybe a menopause in her reach. Oh. Or papa pause. Or old yellow pause. Jesus, how hard it is for kids. Oh, Jesus. People, people. I feel tired of having a day down, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. No, sir. No matter with your yawning in there. So, uh, other day we talk about your yawning. Stop. Oh. And you start again. Not even two minutes into the video. I you don't know how we start the fall again because normally the yarning thing come like when it left it in my yard, but we don't know how I go on now. You know? But a long time with the yarn. Yeah. So we don't know how I go. We're doing good. One time as we go in a car, so my God, we start yarn. And then you just jump on to it. <laughs> People is like, I don't know where you are, come back because down to the very yard, they didn't stop. Because we just get so, I can't, you know, comfortable, relax, you know, no pressure pertaining to the COVID thing. You know, when you go out, you know, happy, where you say, say, you are in contact with a whole lot of persons and all those things, you know. You go into the supermarket and 
you know, even if a thousand person inside the supermarket or any store, it's like you're not coming in contact with anybody. You know, people just keep their distance. You know, you want to, um, you are in a particular aisle, and a person wants to go in that aisle, and they see you in that aisle, they would wait, you know, patiently until you come out of that aisle. You know, and it's, 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 it's just so much different. So much different than, than down at home where you used to do whole cluster thing. And, you know, the other day, a little bit before we come up, I have a cousin who come down, you know, run down for a few days. I mean, he did his COVID vaccine and all those things and stuff like that. But when I pick pick him up at the airport he was going into a different parish from me so after I pick him up I just let him jump me home and you know he keep the car for the couple of days until when he would be going back up and trust me people it was one of the most uncomfortable <laughs> time take taxi <laughs> when I have to take taxi because when you go into the taxi you have some it, so I drive them after you go in there and I rain a mask or they end up take it off and then after that you find out say people just are coming at the taxi and then I have on the mask and instead of them I carry two or three still are full up and stuff like that so it was a bit uncomfortable and you know sometimes down a house day down a yard when you um if you talk say well drive a house you take up so many persons or whole persons don't have on masks then you know so that is a different situation again. Because the person them who in the taxi now have on a mask, they have to start to say if you mind your own business or mm -hmm. COVID now keep. And then the worse are if you drive and have on none, they have to tell you something. So it, you know, and then you know, don't I had the lot boy, money say we're illiterate, but we're ignorant to certain things so bad that's if you don't mind. By a person just stalking for the rights down there saying that, look here person entering the taxi you need to have all your mask or you need to sanitize or so. You might just end up in a big things war and all this sitting there and you know people feel like a disrespect thing and they lead to another thing. You know so in that case I'm feeling a much more comfortable here. Because if you know this now we stop at the pharmacy now and we are going to go inside the pharmacy. Hopefully there is no music in there so I can um and show you tell people, guys. Show you the people have inside of the pharmacy if a body have on mask and the social distancing. Mm -hmm. You know and then from your car you know you know have no back crowd where you have to encounter with and people are almost three months now since we've been here and oh, trust you, me. Pull your, pull your seat. There's something it is so much different. Tell I have been to the you. bank and I have my appointment when I when I um when the appoint, appointment that I went. So guys, we're at the pharmacy, and um, mm, let's see if it's not too crowded on the inside. We'll go and show, I'll show you guys what's up. But if it is, if you don't see on the inside, not crowded, the music, sorry. Music, music, because the copyright thing. But if it's not, I'll show you guys. So we're going inside now. People take in general in a supermarket. Show, show them your trolley. <laughs> Be careful. Be ca see? Be careful. But you know, we can't stay long because music are played. So later, guys. The mom, people, <laughs> mom's shop, and she push her trolley. She loves this trolley so much. It looks like them left it at the store fair every time. Every time Daniel come to Food Lion. She specifically asks to come to this supermarket, even if we go to other supermarkets. Daniel <laughs> begs. Because of this one, she want to come for use the trolley. Yes, ma'am. You can't. You can't open a trunk. You're, you're too shy. <laughs> 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 
see? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Yeah! All right. Oh, oh but <laughs> too hard, Jenna. It's the only thing. All right, mom. Mm hmm. See a receipt there, ma'am. She asked her receipt, people. Come this way. See one right here, Sir Janil. All right. Go to Goody. Wanna be. <laughs> there you go. I should fix it good dinner, people. Talk it truth. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, injection. <laughs> yeah. Good job. <laughs> yeah.